Welcome, listeners. This week on Just Neapolitan, we talk about video games. Joined by Floyd, and I'm your resident. Obviously, the problem is that I've just been thinking fat thoughts my whole life. Brian. (laughs) Hilarious. Thank you. Pretty happy with it. How's how's your week been, buddy? It's been alright. It has been... Oh, no, it's been a shit show. Yeah. I hate work. <laughs> I mean, well, yeah. No, nah, we lost two managers in one week. So. Oh. Yeah. It must be that time of the year because uh, we lost our full time uh, overnighter. Oh, fine. Yeah. Apparently, like, just did no work one night. And when the opening manager came in, the complaint was there was too much work to do. So, did none of it, and then left. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, well, I guess that's one way to deal with it. I don't know, when yeah. there's too much left over, I'm just honest with the closing one. Like, you know I'm not going to get all this done. And when the opener comes in, I'm like, hey, here's everything I did and what I couldn't do. Okay, have a good day. I did my best. Like, it's not my problem right. anymore. My shift's <laughs> over. Like, do I work a little harder? Depends. Am I getting screwed because somebody didn't do their job, or am I getting screwed because we're really busy? If we're really busy, yeah, I'm probably gonna work a little harder and help out. Mm-hmm. If it's because someone didn't do their shit, no, I'm gonna do exactly the same amount of shit that I do on a normal night, and fuck you, like I don't get paid for that. Right. But yeah, it was like, you know, we still had a, a ton of, we were still pretty full up from the holidays, so there was a lot going on. So it was like it was just gonna be a busier than normal day. And really the only thing that wouldn't be able to one hundred percent get done would be the walks in the morning. Mm-hmm. Which is like you do what you can and then you hand it off. Well, whatever. So I know I, I know at least one of the stories from yours and we probably can't talk about it, so why not? I mean if you want to. I mean I don't know. I I didn't even mean to talk about my personal shit. I just thought it was funny that (laughs) we're all just, everyone's quitting right now. (laughs) Yeah, no. Quitting uh, fired, you know. Where the fuck did you come from? Is she in your room somehow? Yes. How? (laughs) I don't know. (laughs) Your door's closed. It was. (laughs) Does she know how to open doors now? I hope not. Oh my god. We do not need that cat knowing how to open doors. That that's the <laughs> end of it. Um it probably wasn't closed all the way. But um yeah, no. My GM got a new job and then the other manager was caught drinking and stealing. So he was gone. And I was like, ah, oh, yeah, thanks. Thanks for that. Couldn't I, I, sh- you couldn't even be good at being shitty. Like, cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Man, I didn't even know about the drinking part. Mm-hmm. <sighs> drama. We're going to become drama podcasters, but the drama is just going to be our life. Right. <laughs> like, we're not going to, like, feed into, like, the huge drama shit that everyone else does. No, we're just going to be all like, look, man, real life is crazy enough. I don't need to follow some jackass online. Oh, oh! I'm so sorry. I'm stretching again. Oh, oh okay. Sucks being old, don't it? Shut up, <laughs> Mister Bad Hips. Whoa, 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 it's my back. Okay. So, in knees. other words, it's probably your <laughs> hips. If it's your back and your knees, it's probably your hips. <laughs> You didn't like Maybe. suddenly like the the joint in between those two is okay somehow. You know it might trust be. trust someone who also has bad knees <laughs> and a bad back. It's your hips. <laughs> On today's podcast, we're going to talk about getting older. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna do no. the the, the rolly. Oh wait, I was supposed to apologize for stuff. Hey, I still didn't do the new intro. Okay. <laughs> and on to the D20. Okay. I swear I, I rolled this. I swear. It's just too perfect. Uh, what is the oldest game you still play often? 
See, the oldest game I still play often. Mm-hmm. Hmm. And I mean, I guess it will allow, like, you play it at least once a year. Let's say that. Because I feel mm-hmm. like, or twice a year, I don't know what, I don't know what often we want to use. I think with the amount of different games we play. Right. It's definitely going to be a Mario game. I just can't pinpoint which one. <laughs> I feel like I go back to those enough that it counts. Right. Yeah, I was thinking, uh, so like my short list is probably Miss Pac-Man, mm-hmm. but I don't play that one as often anymore because I don't go out really anymore. And one of the right. big places that I was playing that uh, was one of the bars I went to. Yeah. Because and I, I would like beeline to it, so it's not. I literally like was picking that bar to play. Well, I mean they have a bunch of games, but that was the one I really cared about. Um, right. And so that I think they would have been at pre-pandemic, because I mean I was going there three or four times a year. Mm-hmm. Which once again, even before I stopped going out, it's not like I was going out a ton. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then I was thinking like it might be Super Mario World, I, but I. I think I don't think I'm gonna be able to say that with wonder on my switch now, right, so I think I gotta go Final Fantasy six mm, yeah. which i I literally I just that. started a new playthrough of like three weeks ago, but I wasn't oh wait is it has it been for me has it been oh it's been record of Agra's war. I stopped playing it on the stream, but I play it every once in a while. When I'm just like, oh, yeah, I do need to play that. And then I'll just play it. <laughs> See, the funny thing about mine is I was playing it and. Uh, no, so it had been longer than that. No, about three years. Mm. OK, I, I'm doing all this in my head and forgetting that we're recording audio. And this is the worst thing to ever do is to have a conversation in your own head. <laughs> I wanted to explain that before apologizing for it. Um, you know, people, people like hearing us just talk. Do they? I would hope so. I don't know. I don't think we get feedback. No. Oh. Shadow okay. producer Candle gives us feedback now and then, but it's that's usually true, it's true. usually to tell us how wrong we are, or just to make fun I, of us, which I find helpful, honestly. Yeah, I like both of those. Yeah, I'm like I'm I'm with it. Um, but no, I'd started the new playthrough of Final Fantasy VI, like. Slightly before I started the whole, I'm going to record every every game I play, just mm-hmm. so when crazy shit happens, I have it. And then I thought eventually that would turn into, I'll have shit to post on either the YouTube channel or like snippets that can go on Instagram. Um, mm-hmm. Forgetting that the second part of this was I have to not be lazy and then actually edit the footage. Right. Yes. I got a lot of footage. <laughs> I haven't put the my editing software under the new pc yet <laughs> so, <Got it. laughs> uh, you know and i got a couple of funny things like there's a couple like at least snippets from when i was playing like uh, i've been doing a lot of monster hunter rise lately mm-hmm. i'm talking i probably have like 20 hours of footage so i had to start oh. so i'm just breaking it up into what day i'm doing it but like if something happens i'll put a note in like the title Mm-hmm. Or like I had the one where I had a really uh, like, you know, because you got to say some that make you look good. Like the funny stuff right. is all well and good. But every once in a while, you got to got to show them, you know, what's up. Um, or I fought like the largest Nargakuga I have ever fought. <laughs> I'm talking I could just walk under him. That's how big that fucker was. Like, I don't think I've ever seen one that fucking big. And there is a sequence of fighting where I was just like so in the zone. Every move was dodged perfectly. And I'm talking it's like last second dodges too. Like I was just fucking in it. And it was like last second dodge. Get one hit. Oh no, last second dodge. Like knowing the combos. So I was like dodge here. And then you could, couldn't could even see him anymore. And I was like dodge this direction. And you see the attack go b- past the side of my screen. It was a good like. I mean, you know, obviously it felt like five minutes. It was probably 20 seconds of me being awesome. But whatever. You put some epic music under that. Psh, fuck it, dude. <laughs> Grab it and wrap it. You know what I mean? Ah. 
I don't. Uh, yeah, I don't. Thanks for not saving me from that. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, I like to see people flounder. Yeah. Yeah, you were like, oh, that's some crazy quicksand who created right under your own feet. <laughs> it's like poking with a stick. <laughs> yeah. <see> dead. <laughs> Is that that uh, don't be mess uh, central while drinking your juice in the hood? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Did they find Elvis dead? Wasn't that the thing? I don't... It's been years since I watched that. I don't remember exactly who it was. I think it was Elvis. Yeah, I don't know. I, I had yeah. the VHS tape of that movie. And I watched really? it so much that it snapped. <laughs> I love that. That is like prime Wayne's Brothers fucking comedy mm-hmm. in that movie. Like, like in Living Color, excellent stuff they done after. Still good, but I think that was like that was their Everest, man. Yeah. Or it's just the one that I've watched the most, and therefore like the most. That's also a possibility. Yeah, I'm really partial to the first screen, uh, scary movie. Yeah, see, the scary movies, I think I missed them all when they mm. were, like, more culturally relevant. Right. And so when I watched them later, I enjoyed them, but, like, they weren't a shared experience. So no, I don't I think they hit as hard, you know? Yeah, but I also, the quality dropped in the scary movies as soon as the, the Williams brothers left. So I was like, mm, guess I'm done with this series now. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I mean, yeah. And I remember seeing white girls at one point and enjoying it, mm-hmm. but also kind of being like, yeah, but you kind of have five jokes in this movie and you've been telling them for two hours. <laughs> Yeah. Like I feel like that was like that was like a comedy sketch. You know what I mean? Yeah. Never thought we'd end up talking about the Wayne's brothers. Never never in my life. Well you know, not talk no, I mean on the podcast I guess I should yeah, qualify yeah. No, the statement. I, I knew what you better. <laughs> yeah. You know, I understood you and that's all that matters. Yeah, I mean, we don't have much of... You know what? I'm not gonna... (laughs) (laughs) Speaking of having one joke... Uh Why am I that song in my head? I don't know. I don't either. Okay, so, let's see. I got a couple things pulled up for news that so, one of these is kind of sad, because I was hoping we'd have Eddie for this, but just because of schedules. Right. Did not work this week. And uh, Maggie uh, decided to carry us in yet another game, and her back is broken again. So, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. it's unfortunate. Uh, we're going to try to get better so that she has to stop doing that. Yeah. Poor Maggie. Seriously, though. I mean, for real, though. Put some good vibes out in the fucking universe, like... Her girl's in pain. Yeah, she need it. Yeah, for sure. And if you think that's all new age mumbo jumbo, it don't fucking hurt, so shut up. <laughs> right? And it's better than thinking you can pray away cancer. <clears throat> so, Rust is finally getting backpacks. <laughs> Rust gets backpacks? Yeah, after ten years. That was the That was the part... Of uh, literally, that's just me reading the 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 uh, title of the article on PC Gamer, mm-hmm. and like that alone made me go the fuck, and then read the article <laughs> and I was like, I was like, oh uh, yeah, basically the all I needed was the title. Yeah, like, it goes into more detail about like why it took so long, and I'm like, I don't care. The funny part was what you said at the beginning. And like I said, that was an Eddie one because I knew it would trigger him and he'd probably go off and have some insight into it. Oh, I get that. Um, oh, hey. Okay, so this is my attempting to pick out good news in the new year. So there's also news about more layoffs because, of course, there is. 
Mm-hmm. So there's actually a website that tracks them. I can't think of the name of the website off the top of my head. But it's something like GameIndustryLayoffs.com. It's literally something that simple. I don't think that's the actual site. Uh, maybe if I'm not lazy, I'll put it in the description. I don't want to keep covering that and getting angry about it. I'm already angry about it all the time, every time I see the article. Literally. So maybe I'm just going to link the fucking website in the description. And you know what? You, everyone else, you keep track of it. I still am. I just... Me talking about it constantly isn't doing anything about it, except riling myself up. <laughs> It still sucks. It's still a problem. There. I think I've said everything that needs to be said about it. Of course, I say this, and then, like, some large company is going to, like, fire a shit ton of staff. Watch, like, three I episodes from now. I, three episodes do. from now, I'm going to be all like, this fucking company. I'm calling it. I'm calling it right now. The over-under, three and a half episodes. Place your bets. The way the industry is, I'm taking the under. Uh, but anyway, so the, some good news. Uh, so City of Heroes, do you ever hear about that game? That was one of those MMOs, like, way back in the day when everyone thought they could do WoW. Uh, Mm-mm. So, okay, so it's so old, it was actually, like, the official servers were shut down uh, in 2012, November 2012. Uh, fan servers, obviously, kind of kept things around. And so in the positive news, do 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 where is the name of this company? Here we go. Okay. This is a quote from Don't Fucking Know on IGN. Hmm. Listen, I'm trying to get better at citing sources, all right? NCSoft has officially granted Homecoming, which is like one of the largest fan servers, a license to host City of Heroes. So basically right. NCSoft is like Yep, here you go. You can do this. We're not going to shut you down ever. Yeah. So, oh, okay. It was a forum post from the fan server. Got it. Yeah, called Homecoming. Yep. So, it's got an official license from the publisher. So, yep, they can't they won't get shut down as like, you know, some shitty like backhanded fuck the fans copyright strike shit. I thought that was nice. <laughs> I bungled it because I didn't take any notes on any of the news this week because I was like, none of these stories are that great. <laughs> right. Yeah, that was that one. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Um, what was I finna say? I don't know. I was finna say something. Some, some, some. Yeah, see, this is usually why I say take Speaking, notes and why I take notes. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of, like, happy news, you know, mm-hmm. Spider, Spider-Man 2 actually won a Game of the Year award. <laughs> From they <PlayStation>. did? <laughs> oh, okay, there it is. Yeah. I was like, so you... That's wild. They was like, you know, we're just going to give it the PlayStation Game of the Year award. And I was like, that... You guys are funny. <laughs> yeah. It's like Sony announces the award for it was won by Sony at Sony's award ceremony. <laughs> My thing with that is what kind of ceremony was it? Like was it like just PlayStation only games? Because if so, they only have Spider-Man. Like <laughs> Yeah, what other games would it have gone up against? I have no idea. Is this like Game of the Year's anything released on PlayStation? Maybe. See, the but... funny thing is, I, I remember you posted that in the Discord. I, I spent time trying to like get more information about it, and I just could mm-hmm. not find anything else. Me neither. Yeah, I'm just... But I don't... Is Baldur's Gate on PlayStation yet? Yeah. Yeah, Baldur's Gate should be on consoles now, I think. You know what? Don't quote me on that, and I'm not going to check, so fuck you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, this is how you can tell Candle's gotten in my head. I'm like, anytime I say something and I'm like, wait, that might not be true. Fuck off, I didn't say it. I said, I think. 
You're always safe if you just have an opinion. I just have an opinion yeah, very loudly. Yes, yeah, on PlayStation. So it can't be games released on PlayStation. So because obviously is Sony's <laughs> game of the year what Sony thinks the best game they made is then. I think so. I think so. Did they make anything other than Spider Man? Did Sony Game Studios God damn it, now we're gonna we're gonna do some clickety clackies on the fucking podcast, aren't we? Yeah. Hmm. Uh, every game released in 2023. Uh, no, not what I wanted. <laughs> okay, all Sony's first party stuff. What they're working on. Oh, this is just literally a list of companies they own. Yeah, see, that's so weird. Oh, I can't even I find a list for games they release. Yeah, I just have a, a list of studios they own. That was the first thing that came up. Mm-hmm. And then, of course, in the comment section, it's more people telling this publication that they missed stu- other studios that Sony owns. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not even a complete list. Right. Uh, 2023 in video games. Nope. All Sony teams ranked. Wow, that's okay. Oh man, am I gonna have to like go to an IGN list of all games in 2023 and sort by Sony, and then just go through and figure it out? I don't want to do that. You know what? I'm gonna go with this one. If we have to do this much work to figure out what other games Sony's Game Studios put out this year that didn't put out anything else that's competition for Spider-Man, do you think we can just agree on that one? Spider-Man 2, Horizon, uh, Forspoken, Final Fantasy 16. Yeah, but that wasn't a... I don't think... 16 was PlayStation only. Yeah, but that's exclusive. That wasn't developed by Sony Games yeah. Studios. Because that's a square unit. So, yeah. I don't think they... They didn't really do anything this year. It's like, it's been kind of light for PlayStation. Uh, Horizon Forbidden... No, that's not even out. And there's that. Oh, you know what? The Last of Us remake. Mm. I think that came out. Yeah. Although, I'm remake. also, I'm looking on Steam, so this could just be when they came to PC as well. Because <laughs> this is saying the Ratchet and Clank game came out July 26th. Oh, I found it. That did not. Did you actually? I found... The, it. So, the... It was the worst given out by the official PlayStation blog. Oh, that's why we can't find it. Because it's mm-hmm. a nothing burger. Best new character, Venom. Okay, sure, Wait, why not? Yeah, that's the, the winner, yes. Fucking so Asterion it, got second place. <laughs> okay. Okay, best so story. The, this is just a bunch of people at Sony jerking themselves off. Yes, calling it best an story. award show. Spider Man Two. Spider Man Two. Yeah. So it's yes, all Sony. Second place. Uh, Baldur's Gate. Yes. <laughs> this is literally just so they can call the game award winning. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh, best graphical showcase. Guess uh, what? Spider Man Two. Yes. Oh Correct. my god. Uh, second place to shock you. Alan Wake. Damn, it didn't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Basically, everyone they lost to in actual game awards, they're going to be like, they were actually second place. Best um, art direction. Oh, geez. Spider-Man 2? Alan Wake. Oh, because they knew that mm-hmm. it's total bullshit if they give it all the time. Well, let me guess. Did Spider-Man guess get second? No. Baldur's Gate beat it. Was the art direction team secretly? You know what? 
Let's not get into it. <laughs> ah, best audio design. Uh, Spider Man Two. Yes, correct, correct. I, I just second FYI, place. I'm gonna guess that for everyone. You might as well ask me who I think second place is. Okay, got it. Uh, who do you second, think second place? Second is? place, High Five Rush. Alan Week Two. Oh, that's right. I forgot. Hi-Fi Rush is a game for casuals, and Sony, yes. we're only hardcore gamers here. Correct. We ignore 98% of the fucking market because we're so much smarter <laughs> than everyone. Yeah, so smart that you're so scared that if you get rid of those exclusives, no one gives a fuck about your fucking console. <gasps> uh, second place for soundtrack. Uh, Alan Wake. Final Fantasy 16. Uh, fuck off. <laughs> I've heard some of those songs. They're not bad, but even just in the lens of Final Fantasy music, I don't think they stand mm-hmm. up. That could uh, be no- sec- again be nostalgia factor because I still think Six has the best music. So second place for best ac- accessibility features. Uh, Diablo Four. Mm, that was third. Mm. It's Resident Evil Four. Oh fuck off. <laughs> it's not an accessibility feature when you re-release the game. Look, it's accessible to more people. Well, I guess you you will have to pick the winner for this one. That's oh. multiplayer experience. Oh well, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, <laughs> um, that's got to be Diablo. Oh no, no, no! Did they give it to Baldur's Gate? Yes, yes, yeah. they did. They were literally forced to. Yeah. Because they couldn't give it to Spider-Man. <laughs> right. I mean, you know what? I think that's the one of the best things that Spider-Man has going for it. It's uh, they a gave narrative Sea of single Stars player the best. They gave uh, Sea of Star best independent. I'm surprised they didn't find some ha- half-ass bullshit way to uh, give that to <laughs> Spider-Man. No, 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 VR like, game like was Naughty Resident Dog. Evil 8. Oh, was it Naughty Dog or Insomniac? It's Insomniac that did Spider-Man, right? Uh, no, I, it's Insomniac for Spider-Man? That's what I, that's what I said. Yes. I think it's in, yeah, it's Insomniac. PlayStation 4 game of the year. What? Yeah. They had an award for PlayStation 4 Game of the Year. Why are they still releasing games on PlayStation 4? I don't know. Uh, I fucking, I have no fucking clue. Hogwarts. Okay. (laughs) Second place for PlayStation 5 Game of the Year. Mm. Uh, Horizon something. Mm, Nope. Baldur's Gate. Baldur's Gate. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh. ooh. Wait, 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 wait. So they have Game of the Year and PlayStation 5 Game of the Year? Uh Uh-huh, uh-huh. And Spider-Man won both of them? Of course. That is the same award. (laughs) I know. These are the PlayStation Awards. (laughs) So your PlayStation Awards Game of the Year is the... It should be the exact... Is it a copied list? Between the two of them, because it is the same fucking award. Obviously, it's the PlayStation. F- oh no! But look, if the, it's the PlayStation Four game and the PlayStation Actually, Five yes, game, it is the exact same of list. Of course, because it's the same fucking award. <laughs> oh, I'm so angry now. You did okay. this to get me angry, didn't you? <laughs> You're like energy's a little low this week. How do I piss Brian off if he's not going to piss himself off about capitalism? I got it. Let's piss him off about capitalism. (laughs) Okay, okay. Studio of the year. Insomniac. Yes. Yeah, no shit. You know, (laughs) Spider-Man fucking 2. Which, since it's owned by Sony, they are just like, and the studio of the year is Sony. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) We win. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> good slow clap you won your own award show i i swear 
I wonder if Xbox did the same thing. Oh my god, now we have to find out. In in the spirit of fairness, we have to find out. Oh my god. Hmm. I hate everything. I'm just searching Xbox Awards. And it gave me it put me to rewards with Xbox. Do you want to see <laughs> Xbox rewards? Nope. I wanted to see Xbox Awards. I did actually type it correctly. Uh no. No. Oh, we got Windows Central Game Awards. Ooh. That who runs that? Best Xbox game, Hi-Fi Rush. Best Windows Ooh. PC game, Baldur's Gate. Best indie game, they give it to Dredge. Most anticipated was Frostpunk 2. Best expansion of DLC was Phantom Liberty. Best on- Okay, this one's where you gotta call a little bullshit. Best ongoing game of 2023. Guess what it was? Fortnite. No, no, no. If you're calling bullshit on it, it's- Oh. Who, who, do you, who made it? Um, oh, shit. Um, um, uh, Rockstar. Grand Theft Auto. No, it's Halo Infinite. Damn. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, story direction was Boulder's Gate. Best Game Pass edition of 2023, Liza P. Sure, because it's just the most <laughs> downloaded one from what you yes. put out. Uh, best art and visuals, Alan Wake got it. Best sound and music, Hi-Fi Rush. Uh, Game Developer Excellence Award. Okay, this is just the uh, We Stand With Ukraine Award because they gave it to the developers of Stalker 2. Who are literally mm-hmm. continuing to make their game. Although I think some of them had gotten out to Poland. Um, yeah, and that was theirs. So, yeah, okay. So, not nearly as bad. Yeah. I mean, because they, they, I mean, they literally put best Xbox game. And they didn't even give it to one of theirs. <laughs> best Windows game wasn't one of theirs. Indie game's not theirs. Most anticipated, not theirs. Not theirs. They were a little bit more fair about it, I guess. Yeah, they. I mean, really, it was the Halo for the best ongoing game of 2023. And we all know the best ongoing game should be fucking No Man's Sky. Yeah, agreed. They should continue to win it until Hello Games puts out their next game. <laughs> then likely, Hello Games' new game will be the one that should just... Like, my thing, like, I know there's this weird thing with awards. They do this, like, I think about this in sports all the time, too. Because there's always that thing where it's like, you know, who was the best, like, uh, what is it, the Hart Memorial Award in hockey in NHL is the best player, like, of the year, right? The, the, v, the, v, mm-hmm. the VIP, why do I want to say VIP? MVP of the year, right? Right. And there's almost, like, no argument that every year it should be this one player because it's like, yeah, no, but honestly, he is the best every year. But then once in a while, they'll just give it to someone else. Because it's like, well, you just won the last three in a row. Like, yeah, but yeah, he's still yeah, yeah. the best player every fucking year. So give it to whoever the best player is. Sucks no, to they, suck. Try harder. They literally did that with, uh, who is that in the NBA? Uh, Jokic, right? They didn't want him to win two in a row. Even though he was clearly the best player in the league so they just gave it to somebody else and then they gave it to him the next year Mm -hmm. because clearly he was the best player he still is yeah Yeah, no i hate that shit i hate it and like that is like so what kills me about that oh man we're gonna get into this shit now so these awards are decided by generally an older generation even than us right Mm mm-hmm an older generation that constantly attempts to tell the younger generations how they're little snowflakes and they can't hand. I'm like, okay, but you give awards out like you're worried about hurting people's feelings because you think to yourself, well, back in the day, if that guy got that award twice in a row, I'd beat him up in an alley when I saw him. And I'm like, yeah, because you're the fucking snowflake who can't handle this shit. Our generation is shut up, get good. Like, that's how we roll. <laughs> right. <laughs> You know, we on that grind segment. <laughs> I can't even fucking say it without laughing. <clears throat> you gotta wake up and grind, baby. <laughs> can't do it. Uh, sorry, I had some douchebags stuck in my throat. 
Uh but yeah. No, that's the whole thing. Is like, no, if if this game is should get the ongoing award for the past, how long has the game been out? Then that's okay. Everyone else should fucking try harder. Yeah, there definitely. is no triple A game that deserves the award of best ongoing. <laughs> yeah, there's just not. You're too obsessed with profit. You're never going like. I understand it to an extent. Mm-hmm. Uh, but not the extent that those motherfuckers are not doing shit. Like Bethesda, for instance. Yeah. Uh, nice, peaceful episode. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we ain't wild out too much. <laughs> no. No, and I've used up what energy I've had to be angry. <laughs> I'm in the middle of my uh, my random uh, unplanned like six days off of work. Mm-hmm. Well, I was supposed to. What's funny is I was supposed to work today because I, I told you the whole the full timer walked off. Um, right. But apparently, the boss above the boss that I told I would take the shift just gave it to someone else, and I'm like, yeah, that's fine. You keep playing favorites. We all know you do. I actually don't care. My whole thing was like, I don't need the extra day. I'm just as happy to go, cool, thanks for the random six days off in a row. Love that my schedule somehow worked out that way without me asking for it. I'm good, thanks. Right. And then like, I have an extra shift for next week. And I'm like, whatever. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I was more than happy. Which also, I maybe shouldn't have admitted how I've had the extra time off work and I've been relaxing. Because I have mm-hmm. less of a reason now to have not worked on the new intro and outro. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and I've said it. <laughs> but Thank I have you. honestly just been relaxing. Listen, it was just, like, I got you hired are... at the holidays. And then it was like, cool, your first two months is the most stressful time that we have every year. Congratulations. <laughs> and I'm like, I didn't want any of that. I just wanted to walk some puppies and be like, puppy. Right. <laughs> Instead, it was like, oh, my God, would you all shut up? I have a headache for nine hours straight. Because there's so many of you, you're all stressed out and you won't stop barking. I just know one of the people who work there, just when they do overnights, just put on headphones and just zone the fuck out. I mean... Listen, I bought Super Mario Wonder because I'm getting into the period of work where I'm going to need something to do for a couple hours every night. (laughs) Freely admit it. Listen, if you're halfway decent at getting work done and staying busy, if you work an overnight shift, you should very, like, the majority of the time be able to find, like, two hours to do nothing. Nice. Yeah, I mean... Well, and that's not even including, like, the 30 minutes I give myself for lunch. Just, you know. Mm. It's all a thing, man. It's a grand set. I want to buy a stream deck. I just, I want a steam deck so bad. And I keep thinking about it. And I haven't bought it. I'm holding up to it. So, <laughs> I don't know if you saw my post in the Discord that I... Just bought a new handheld. Yes. Yeah. So I bought the the, uh, the Evercade uh, XP or EXP. Mm-hmm. Whatever. It's the second version they put out. So it's got better screen, better processor, more internal memory, and it comes with eighteen Capcom games <laughs> built in. <laughs> nice. And I'm talking like it's good shit too. It's like Final Fight, um, Mega Man X, Mega Man One and Two. Like there's. Good games in that 18 that are just built in. Um, but yeah, the Evercade is like, it's a lot of like, you know, older games. They even have like homebrews. They've got like Atari sets of games. Just like this big smorgasbord. But the new handheld is because they're expanding into doing like the arcade versions of some of the games. Ooh. And I'm like, ooh, for some of those games, I'm not as interested in getting them as they were on Atari. Because mm-hmm. that was during the time when the arcade cabinets were so far advanced for the home systems that they had, you know, they had to basically ruin a ton of these games to get them on the home right. systems. 
So yeah, this one, I wanted this new one. Um, and it's funny you mentioned the Steam Deck because as I'm looking at this, I'm thinking in my own head, I'm like, okay, a lot of these games though, I probably already own some of them on Steam just because mm-hmm. I, I'll get them all the time. But these older games like this and these older arcade games especially, there's something about just playing them like solo on a TV that, I don't know, just doesn't click with me, right? But right. they're the perfect type of games where I'm like, yeah, but I would play the shit out of that game on a handheld system. I know I would because it just like I'd be sitting here watching like YouTube and be all like, oh, I just want to like uh, just like grab it and just play it, play a couple rounds real quick, you know. Um, so I was actually looking at the Steam Deck. <laughs> the Steam Deck, it's like I'm like, oh, okay. So the cheap one's like three hundred bucks. I'm like, so the yes. one I actually want is like five hundred bucks. Uh, like, yes. Or I can get this thing. For a hundred and fifty. Yeah. No. So I was like, cool, I'll get this one. Steam Deck's still on the wish list somewhere. Just because there's so many games that I own that I was like, yep, would play these games more if they were on a handhold. Um, yeah. You know, also, I think I would flip my Vampire Survivors over into the handheld territory. Because I think that's also another one of those games that would be perfect for that. Yeah. So yeah, I, I keep uh, I, every every once in a while, I'll not every once in a while, really consistently, at least twice a week, I'm scrolling eBay because I'm not buying that thing full price. I just can't. I can't justify it. But the second I see it at a decent price somewhere else, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get me a Steam Deck. See, you and I are so opposite on that. I'm like, can I afford that? No. Do I trust somebody to sell me a used one on eBay? Fuck no, I'll pay full price. <laughs> no. Eh, I've been, I guess it's because I've been extremely lucky with my, like my eBay purchases. So I haven't been scared off with them yet. Well, I think too, mine is like an older mindset. Because honestly, eBay's got a bunch of like protections and everything going on now that yeah. they because of problems they had earlier, but I'm just still iffy about it. I think probably just due to preconceptions from, you know, earlier in yeah. eBay's life. I so I think that's a me thing. Um because yeah, I'm sure you could find some decent ones that and stuff that's probably still under warranty, you know what I mean? Like, you know, basically. But I don't know, part of me also I'm just like, I d I don't know, I'd just rather have a new one. I don't want something with People's greasy fucking fingers have been all over. <laughs> you know how I'm weird, but you know I'm weird about shit like that too, though. Yeah. Like, so, yeah. I've also been looking into, uh, there's this company that they, they make the uh, systems to play, like, physical copies of, like, the TurboGrafx-16. Mm-hmm. But, um, uh, I'm really hoping because one of the first ones they did was a new SNES and it's not, it's much better than the systems that you usually find for like, like, Oh, you can do this one. And it's like 40 bucks, but they're really, they're just like basically an emulator in a a physical shell. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And this one is like, no, 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 this is like, this runs, you know, exactly how the SNES ran. Right. You know, for better or worse. Obviously, like, that can go both ways. But basically, they're just, you know, also a higher-end fucking system. (laughs) But they don't make that anymore. Mm. Okay. This got rambly. I think this is it. It did. (laughs) It did. (laughs) I'm like, we're talking about systems we wish we owned. I think that's (laughs) it for this week. (laughs) Yeah, we we turned it into not a podcast, but us just talking yeah. to each other. <laughs> well, you know what the worst part was? I'm talking, and I've got the game up, and I'm watching the game, and I realize I can't... No, we need to... No. I'm like, I'm just talking about <laughs> shit, and like watching the game with the sound off. Mm-hmm. No, that's the sign. It's it. Thank you so much yeah. for putting up with us this week. <laughs> Especially this week. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we love y'all. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.